Welcome back to the channel. It's raining out, so we're gonna make this a quick one. Uh, it's auction day. If you uh, have been following the channel at all, uh, you know a few months back we had uh, we had one of our dairy goats, Champagne, get sick with mastitis, and it took us a little while to get her healed up. But she's in there. We're gonna take her to the auction today. I know, sweetheart, I'm sorry. All right, well. Here we go. Oh boy, it's another rainy, cold fall day in Iowa. It's currently 36 degrees out, and raining. It's kind of miserable. So I'm hoping we get in and out of that auction fairly quickly. Uh, so if you remember me talking about Champagne, she, uh, she got mastitis real bad back in late August, early September, uh, right after she had that little baby, and um, within a couple of days even, and I, there was a week or two where I wasn't sure she was going to make it, she was really in bad shape wouldn't stand up if you see the videos I'll see if I can try to post one up uh, so we can see what's going on with her but she was not wanting to stand up and obviously would not feed her baby so we ended up with a bottle baby which you've probably seen some of those videos uh, she uh, we, we got antibiotics from the vet a couple rounds of antibiotics she kind of bounced back but her her milk bag uh, got necrotic there was all sorts of dead tissue in it, and I mean, this big chunk of dead, nasty infection literally peeled off her bag. I mean, it was about the size of a softball. It was pretty disgusting. And in fact, it was so disgusting that I didn't want to film it and gross you guys out. So, uh, I didn't. <laughs> uh, but it peeled off, and I, we kept treating it, treating the infection uh, topically with just peroxide. Uh, I think she had two or maybe three rounds of antibiotics total over the whole thing. But it took her, it was like two months. It was like two months to get her totally full back to normal. And uh, I probably would have taken her to the uh, auction two weeks ago because uh, she was in good shape by then. But um, had some things going on that day and couldn't make it. So had to push it back another two weeks. Uh, she seems like she's doing good. She, in the last month or so, she's put weight back on, which is good. Uh, she had gotten real skinny there during the mastitis. Uh, she, she wasn't eating very much, so she, she's really looking pretty healthy. Um, if somebody wanted to take a chance with her and breed her for next year, they probably could. I'm not going to do that. Uh, there was so much damage to the milk bag, I don't think it's a viable thing to try to breed her and, and expect her to take care of uh, two babies, which is what would likely happen. And I would be even doubtful about being able to take care of one. Uh, so it's just the way it is, you know, we're, uh, they're not pets. They are a business, even though I, <laughs> I, even though I'm in the red pretty much all the time with them, uh, it's just the way it is. So she cannot breed for us she, she has to go down down the road so that's where we're heading today down the road so I got uh, got champagne dropped off but we're a little early it's quarter to ten and uh, it's supposed to start at ten but they almost never start on time so uh, I'm gonna run over here next door to the elevator and get some uh, goat feed uh, so the stuff I mix in with my corn for uh, for all my animals. So since I'm in the neighborhood, I'm just going to stop in there and get some. Yeah, here we are. Pick up this stuff at the elevator. Yeah, you can't really see it very well, but medicated sheep balancer it's got all the good stuff in it 
So I mix this stuff up. Oh, like, uh, I think it's six to one. You can mix it up four to one if you're trying to grow little ones. But uh, yeah, mix it with corn. <sighs> Stuff's expensive, 185 bucks for uh, eight bags. Oh, what is that? I don't know, my math's not so good. The stuff I get, I cannot get close by my house. I've got to, uh, I gotta drive a little ways to get it. Uh, one place is about 40 miles away and this place is about 30 miles away, but it happens to be the same town where the auction is. So I try to pick some up anytime I'm down here. I'm at the auction two or three, sometimes four times a year. So uh, I try to pick up six, eight, 10 bags or something every time I'm here. It usually gets me by no problem. So, well, I guess we should head back to the auction and see what's going on. I talked to the gals and it sounded like it's pretty light today, but you just never know. I may go and sit for a while and see what's going on, but uh, if it's not looking like it's going to be real busy, I may just take off. I'm just selling today. I'm not buying. So uh, I don't, uh, I don't feel like I got to sit there and watch it, I guess. They'll mail me the, they'll mail me whatever she brought. So anyway, let's go over there and hang out and see what's going on. Well, it looks like a few people are coming in to deliver. I'm already unloaded, so I don't have to do that. <laughs> I got here a little earlier. Normally I'm standing in line there in that traffic. So one other thing I was gonna mention about that feed that I got is uh, I started using it back when I had sheep. And so I was just feeding it to the sheep and the goats. And apparently the goats got a taste for it and now they won't eat anything else. <laughs> Uh, apparently Purina makes a, a goat feed or maybe of some other brand. I don't remember where I was getting it from these guys at, at the Bruntlet elevator. But, uh, so I bought like six bags one time to try it out. They won't touch it. <laughs> uh, it's kind of bizarre, but they, apparently they're picky. They got a taste for that sheep balancer and they uh, really like it. So anyway, uh, come to think of it. I don't think I've ever made a video about, uh, how I mix it up and and how I distribute it and stuff. Looks like it's starting to pick up, so maybe there will be a few people here. Hey guys, TJ Vick, I want to call you, or one call you right there, man. Right there, who are you? 135, right there, what else y'all play? 170, not 5. Hit 170, not 175, 170, not 175, 170, not 175. Hit 170, not 175, 175, now we. Hit 180, now 185, now 90, 190, 190, 190, 185, now 90. Hit 185, now 90, 185, now 90, 185, now 90. Anybody else, 185, 90? Okay, 185, that's higher number. So I didn't mean to film all, I mostly did this uh, video for So I didn't mean to film most of this video in my truck, but. Uh, you know, the weather kind of dictated that to me. Uh, so we sold her for 185, which is only a little bit more than what I bought her for like three years ago. So, you know, it's kind of the story with livestock. Uh, you really just kind of borrow them. <laughs> uh, they're not real big money makers, but um, you know, she bred for us for three years, I think. So, you know, that's, I guess that's what you, that's where you make your profit if, if there is any profit, you know, when you've got breeders like that. But uh, sorry to see her go. She kind <clears> of <throat> seemed like she was, when we, when we first got her, she was real skittish and real scared and, uh, <clears throat> you know, kind of hung back uh, at feeding time, didn't come up up right away and and get, get in there and, and eat and kind of was just kind of scared of everybody else in the herd. And uh, in the last so year or so, I felt like she had kind of gained her place in the pecking order and she was getting along really well. And uh, so I kind of hated to see this happen, but you know, it's just the way it goes. Like I was saying, they're not pets. We're still running a business, if you want to call it that. And uh, it's just the way things are. I guess are. that does it for this video. Uh, join us again. Uh, we'll be doing it. We do auctions couple times a year so you'll probably see more of these videos in the future but uh, anyway thanks for joining us <laughs>